Hello there, I'm Richard Hurstwood and what I want to do is show you guided access in iOS 7. We're on iOS 7.4 at the moment and it's still a little bit problematic, but on one of the iPads I managed to make it work just about right and this is how we did it. Right, let me show you something called guided access. Guided access means that you can lock your iPad down so that when somebody is on an app, they can't go anywhere but that app. So, what you need to do is go to settings, then you need to go to general, which I'm actually already on over here, then go to accessibility, so we'll tap on that, then it says vision, it says hearing, we want to go further down than that, and it says learning right there. So guided access is what we're looking for, and we'll switch that on. And we'll just tap that button there to turn it on there. And it'll ask us to set the passcode. So there we go. Set my passcode. It'll ask for it again. So let's try again. So that's it. It's now set up. So if I press the home button, that will take us out of it. And guided access is now set up. So let me find an app that I know gives me a bit of grief on this one. Talking Rex. Lovely one. All about dinosaurs. Really, really nice. But there's bits of this uh, that I maybe don't want children or students to get to, like uh, clicking on or downloading apps, things like that wouldn't be great news. Uh, maybe making a movie of it. No, we don't really want you to do that. So what we do, we've got triple click set up, which I've explained in a different video, but I'll basically press the button three times, the home button, which is this one down here. One, two, three. And there it's gonna ask me, what do I want? And I actually want guided access. So now my screen will go just a little bit smaller. Or in fact in iOS 7 sometimes it just fires in straight away, which it has done with this. Now I can scroll around, I'm going nowhere, but that is still live, that advert here. And I found this a couple of times. So I'm going to hit the home button three times, one, two, three, and then passcode in and that's the setup screen I want. Sometimes it goes straight into it, sometimes it doesn't go straight into it. So uh, get yourself to this screen. Now, we don't want people to be able to press that button. So all you're going to do is take your finger and just draw around it. And if you just watch, you can see there, I'm just drawing around that with my finger. Let's move over here because I don't want to make a movie, so just Highlight that, it's gone. Uh, don't particularly want them to be able to punch in. Way, and that's gone as well. However, throwing a bone and chucking some meat in there is absolutely fine. We want touch to work, we want motion to work. There are hardware button options there, but this basically means that that button will be disabled, as will be your volume control and your on off switch on there. So, all you do then is press resume, start. And that's it. Now that button right there is disabled. I'm tapping on that and I can't do a dicky. However, this one still works. So we can throw him a bit of meat and it'll be absolutely fine. So the punch button down there is disabled, uh, but I can still throw him a bone. So he'll go and get the bone. Now I can now try to scroll out of this and I'm going to get absolutely nowhere. And I'm scrolling everywhere now. Getting out of this then in iOS 7 is pretty easy. Well, actually only easy if you know the code. Press the home button three times. One, two, three. And then it'll ask you for the passcode. So here we go, punch in the passcode. And then guided access is out. Next time we fire this app up and we switch on guided access, it will remember these points that we highlighted and basically disabled. So we can resume, go back into it, or we can just press end, which I'm going to do now. Oh, by the way, just before I do, you can modify this. So if I can, I can just press that and I can just play around there, put one back in again. So you can play around with it. But now I'm going to press end and that's it. The app is now working as normal. So everything, I can just scroll around. I can press my home button and it's just totally back to normal. So that's guided access in iOS 7. Mm -hmm.